Welcome back, boys and girls. Night of Defiancy is without a doubt one of the TLC's most popular TV shows, and it's the kind of show guaranteed to leave you asking for more. Night of Defiancy has all the makings of a good show – drama, love, heartbreak and the occasional villain. It's fun watching love blossom and the train wrecks crash and burn. You will find yourself asking whether these people are actually in love or if it's all just motivated by a green card. <coughs> Fisa. <coughs> Nandy Defiancy has been running for seven seasons and has birthed several spin-offs. That's a testament to the hit show's popularity and it goes to show how invested the viewers are in the couple's lives. It's hard to keep track of all the shows in the franchise, and there is so much going on that sometimes you forget certain facts about your favorite couples. 15. John and Rachel were accused of lying about when they actually met in person. John and Rachel met on a karaoke app and fell in love. They appeared on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days, the premised sees international couples date online before meeting in person, but fans claimed there were too many inconsistencies with their story and that John and Rachel actually met in person long before they claimed they did. 14. Daniel tried to get Mohammed deported after their split. Mohammed and Daniel were an odd pair. Their marriage started off on bad note owing to the fact that Mohammed refused to kiss his new bride. There was no chemistry between the two and Daniel seemed obsessed with her younger husband. When things turned sore, Daniel tried to have Mohammed deported. 13. Danny's family didn't approve of his mixed-race relationship with Amy in the beginning. Danny and Amy met at Bible camp and fell in love. They were one of Nandy Defiancy's fan-favorite couples. Danny and Amy had a real connection and the chemistry was out of this world, but Danny's dad did not approve of their relationship because Amy is black. In the end, the pair tied the knot and had two kids together. 12. Anfisa demanded that Jorge buy her a $45,000 wedding gown. Anfisa and Jorge were going to crash and burn, it was just a matter of time. He lied about the state of his finances, and many suspected she was more interested in his cash than in him. Anfisa proved everyone's suspicion when she demanded that Jorge fork out $45,000 for her wedding dress because she deserved it. 11. Larissa dos Santos Lima was arrested twice for domestic battery against Colt. You're either Team Colt or Team Larissa, although you can be anti-Colt and anti-Larissa too. Their tumultuous, short-lived marriage was characterized by Larissa acting out and Colt mumbling under his breath. Perhaps living with his mother was a contributing factor in the decline of the marriage. It was so bad that Larissa was arrested for domestic battery twice. 10. Ashley and Jay leaked their own photos and played victim. Ashley and Jay have a complicated relationship. They've broken up and made up so many times it's hard to keep track. Jay has been accused of cheating on Ashley several times and that caused their divorce. During happier times, the duo was accused of allegedly leaking information about themselves and playing victim. 9. Pedro and Chantel's brother River duped it out. It's clear to see that Pedro and Chantal Gimeno are in love and are committed to making their marriage work. However, their families seem to be working against the couple's happiness. Pedro's family loathed Chantal and there's no love lost between Pedro and Chantal's family. He even came to blows with Chantal's brother River. 8. Paula wasn't keen on Ross's mother holding baby Axel. Paula and Ross had a few bumps in the road, but work out their differences and are now enjoying marital bliss. Ross' family did not exactly warm up to Paula and that caused a strain on their relationship, which perhaps was the real reason Paula wasn't too keen on Ross' mother holding Axel when he was born. 7. Azan and Nicole lied about opening a beauty store in Morocco. There are many reasons why Nicole and her Moroccan beau Azan's relationship raise red flags. Like the time they claimed Nicole had invested $6,000 in a beauty store set to be opened in Morocco, Nicole later claimed they had lied and there was neither a beauty store nor a $6,000 investment made. 6. Alan met Curliam on a Mormon mission in Brazil Alan and his Brazilian bride Curliam met ages ago when he was on a Mormon mission in Brazil. One detail about their first meeting was not well received by many. Alan was in his 20s and Curliam was 12 when they first met, but were never romantically involved till they met again 8 years later. 
5. Mark and Nikki have a 39-year age difference Mark and Nikki's 39-year age gap was a much talked about topic, as she's a year younger than Mark's daughter. Despite facing criticism for his seemingly controlling behavior towards Nikki, the pair stayed together. It's unclear whether Mark and Nikki are still together, it's as though the pair just vanished. 4. Lowa lied to Narkia about being a Nigerian prince when they first met When Narkia and Lowa met on social media, he lied about being a Nigerian prince. That's not the only lie he told. He also claimed the mother of his child was deceased when she really wasn't. Narkia obviously saw past his lies because the pair is married and have a child together. 3. Jesse accused Darcy of stalking him after their nasty breakup Darcy Silva loves hard and wears her heart on her sleeve, but sometimes she tends to come off as clingy and obsessive. Her first attempt at finding love on 90 Day Fiancé did not end well. Her ex, Jesse Mister, claimed Darcy continued contacting him oftentimes after their split, and he had to get a lawyer involved as a result. 2. Andre didn't want Elizabeth's mom in the delivery room Elizabeth claimed Andre was assertive and overtly conservative, hence his domineering and seemingly controlling attitude. Andre attempted to control every aspect of Elizabeth's life, and this did not sit well with her family. He went as far as trying to prevent Elizabeth's mother from being present during the birth of his and Elizabeth's first child. 1. Ella admitted to not being in love with Matt, but still married him anyway. Matt and Della seemed to have found the formula for happiness, but that wasn't always the case. Watching them on 90 Day Fiancé was sometimes uncomfortable, and Matt's friends were unsure if the pair was a great match. Ella didn't help matters when she admitted to Matt's friends that she wasn't in love with Matt. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.